so today we're gonna do another how to we're gonna do how to gate start basics on flat pedals we got just over four months away for you guys to get ready and prep for grands so it's time to buckle down let's get those gates dialed and we're gonna do it on the flat pedals What is it? It's under 13s or flat pedals? It's all you under 13 year olds that gotta race flat pedals. Let's get that form straight now. So when you get on that gate in Tulsa, you're ready to get to that first jump first. All right, step one. Before you even roll on the gate, make sure you got a good set of grippy flat pedals and a good set of flat pedal shoes. So they're a bit worn out, but I use the Afton flat pedal shoe. It's got an extra sticky sole. And then I make sure I have fresh pins in my platform pedals. All right, let's go over the pedal position first. When I do gates on flat pedals, my pedal position actually changes a little bit from when I'm clipped in. When I'm clipped in, you have your back foot obviously clipped into the pedal, so you can really help pull that pedal around. Well, flats, you gotta remember, you're only working with downforce. The first thing I see when I see kids go from clip pedals to their flat pedals, they always pull on their back foot, and if you're not clipped in, your foot's gonna come off the pedal. So you want to make sure you have a good platform to push on so you get everything out of that stroke. I actually go to where I normally am on clip pedals and I usually just go creep up just a click or two, a little higher, because that way I have, I can get more out of that downstroke on my first pedal. If your front pedal is really low, by the time you force that pedal down, you only have so much room to pedal. But if you creep up a little higher, you're having more force on that downstroke which in return is making you go a little faster by that second pedal and you got more momentum to bring that second pedal around. That makes sense? Now that I hope you have that ingrained in your head, you can only push, we're not pulling because we're not clipped into the pedal. All right, when you're rolling on the gate, make sure front tire is straight, back tire is straight. So we're on the gate and our bike's in a straight line. Now you might look over to your left or your right and you see a guy balancing like this. Well, if you can't balance, Let's focus on that first. And when you're trying to balance, you might fall to one way. So if I'm falling to the right, push on this handlebar, and that's what's gonna straighten me up. If I fall to the left, I'm gonna push on my right handlebar. Make sense? Falling to the left, turning my bars to the left. Falling to the right, turning my bars to the right. That's what's gonna keep you straight. Finger on the lever is a no-no. You don't need brakes because you can't go through that gate. Kind of got your balance figured out. You're probably shaking like this. First thing you can do, don't force it. Just relax. Take a deep breath and relax. Fall to the left, turn the bars to the left. Fall to the right, turn your bars to the right. Kick our feet around. We can flip our pedals around. We're balancing, all right? Now let's go over our body position. Let's make sure our pedals are level, especially if you're new to this. Don't worry about if your pedal needs to be low or your pedal needs to be high. Let's just look down and make sure our back crank is even with this bar on your bike. That's called the chain stay. So that way you got a basic neutral position to start and learn your gates on. So now we're balancing. We're waiting on the gate start guy. Here we go. All right, now we want to stand up. Pedals are level, body position. You would never stand up and be like this, and you would never stand up and be like this. From a seated position, stand up. That should be your natural position. You're not trying to fight yourself forward. You're not trying to fight yourself back. You're just nice and centered. And go back just enough where you can look down and see your seat. Here, if I look down, I can only see the front of my seat. If I'm way back here, like, whoa, I can see my whole seat. Get your hips just behind your seat a little bit. And now we're in this position because when we hear that first beep or see that red light, we want to be throwing our way forward and creating as much momentum instantly as we can. Um, what about like your knees? So like you're obviously not locking your legs, right? Same thing. You don't want to be fighting any of these positions. If you're straining before you even start a gate, you're already making yourself tired. You want to be nice and relaxed and ready to explode out of this gate. My knee is, I'm not straight, but I'm not super bent. I'm just in, I'm pretty much in a, in the position that where my body naturally put me when I lean back. I didn't overdo anything. Starting with the front foot, I'm gonna lift my heel just a little bit. I'm not gonna point it way down, but I'm gonna kind of make my foot level. And the reason why we do that is you'll see when we do a gate start, if your foot's here, when you start to pedal, your heel lifts and your foot points anyways. So let's go ahead and have that cocked and ready to go. So hold on, 
first thing I'm seeing with Steven, I highly doubt Steven rides his clip pedals like this. That's the middle of the pedal. This would put your cleat in the middle of your shoe. Is that how you ride your clips? No. Okay. Make sure your foot is sitting decently close to where you would in your clips. Because sometimes it is natural, push it forward. It does feel good to put your foot there sometimes, but you don't have that much pressure going. And if your pedal is this far back on your shoe, your spin is gonna be much slower than it normally would be on clips. So let's try to focus on pulling our foot back and make sure, does that kind of feel close to where your clips are? Yeah. You're playing basketball, you're in the gym doing squats, you're always going to be, when you're jumping or pushing through the ground, you're always going to be pushing off the ball of your foot. So make sure the ball of your foot is on that pedal. That's where your power is going to come from. Now let's worry about our back foot. I personally lock my leg and then just pass where my knee bends. Now let's focus on these arms. You never want to be sitting down in your wrist. This is the weakest position you can be in. You can roll your wrist forward, but don't overly do it. I like to think just a good elbows out attack position. It's more about having those wrists nice and locked and in position and attack mode to pull on those bars. So you got a nice straight line from the top of your wrist, top of your forearm, and not, everything's nice and strong. Our body's nice and centered. Our arms are out, ready to attack. Rock those shoulders back. Big, strong chest and shoulders. Now we gotta worry about the cadence. So the first thing you hear when he says, here we go, riders. Okay, riders. Riders, ready? Here it Watch goes. So anywhere from zero to two seconds, I believe, is when that first beep can sound. If you're not ready and set up before those beeps go, everyone on the gate is gonna be leaving you behind. I like to be ready. I hear, okay, okay riders, riders, random, random start. start. So after I hear that, I make sure everything's locked in position. When I hear riders, riders ready, ready, I'm looking ahead and I'm ready for that first beep to sound. If you're not locked and loaded by the time that first beat sounds, everyone on the gate is going to leave you behind. Make sure everything's in position, sit down, take a deep breath, and just relax. So when you hear that gate start say, here we go riders, then you know it's game time. All right, so now we're ready to go. The cadence is going. Do we watch the lights? Do we listen to the lights? Do we leave on the red one? Do we leave on the green one? If you leave on that green light or the fourth beep, you're way behind the gate. When I get on the gate, I used to watch the lights, now I'll listen to the lights. I look forward, I don't look straight down at the gate or my front tire, because if you look at your front tire and you're scared to hit that gate, you're probably gonna hit the gate. So I look forward, I like to find a mark down the starting hill. As Soon as I hear that first beep, I'm gonna be fighting to get to that line before anybody else on the gate. Let's go over it one more time. Roll on the gate, bike's in a straight line. Feet are on the pedals, cranks are nice and level. Body positions back, front foot heel is lifted up a little bit, nice strong arms. Looking forward, ready to go. All right, we're gonna hear the gate starter. Here we go. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna find my mark. Whew. One last deep breath. All right, before we start sprinting, again, we are only pushing down, no clipped in feet to be able to pull. So as I'm ready, I got a little force on that front pedal. So that, that quad is nice and fired and just ready to push as hard as I can. We're not gonna pull on these handlebars where we wanna do a big wheelie. You ever see guys in the gym do those big strong deadlifts? They're holding onto the bar really strong and they're pushing through the floor as hard as they can to pull on the bars. Same concept with your handlebars. You're not yanking them up here, but what we're doing, when you see the pros do a wheelie out of the gate, what we're doing is pulling against our handlebars so hard as we push, that forces what's bringing our front wheel up. When we hear that first beep, we're throwing our weight forward. Hips are going straight to the bars as we're pushing down on that pedal as hard as we can. Our hips are back over the seat. That way we can throw our weight forward and get that momentum going as quick as we can. So since we're not clipped in, you really want to anticipate that second pedal. As you're pushing it, if you wait for that pedal, if you wait for this front pedal to be all the way down before you start pushing on this one, that's so much time you just missed out of from getting on top and pedaling that second pedal. If we start pushing on our pedal here, when we could have started pushing on it here, it's that much distance we lost in that pedal stroke. Your first pedal is all about timing. Whether it's my wife Kelsey behind the camera, 
or one of the local fast amateur guys like Steven or another pro like myself, no one is faster than this gate. So your first pedal is all about timing to get that momentum going and get through that gate. Once that gate's down and your front wheel's moving over it, the second pedal is what makes or break your first straightaway. Good momentum through the gate and getting on top of that second pedal as quick as you can to then again have a good third pedal is gonna be the make or break point. Are you hole shining to the first turn or are you getting cut off after the first pedal? All right, so when I'm snapping, I'm driving that front pedal down as hard as I can, but I'm anticipating that first pedal to finish. So I'm gonna force that second pedal to come around. So I wanna be pushing down on that second pedal just as it comes over the top of your, your 12 and six position. New to flats? Okay. Well, I've been new here for three months. So oh, no. cool, cool. So you're super new to this, huh? Yes, sir. So you seem to be balancing pretty good. Let's try to scoot this foot back a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, that feels super unnatural. It does, but that's where your that's where your power is coming from here. You don't you don't push through here. Jump up a box yeah, or like say jump and throw back. Yeah, so yeah. You don't push from here. You jump from here. So let's try to put our pedal. There you go. There you go. Now make sure you have those strong wrists. So notice her wrist are bent down. So let's make sure these wrists are nice and strong. There you go. Now shift that weight back a bit. You listen to the beats or watch the lights? I listen. When you push on your uh, you push on your front pedal, do you feel how your bike wants to come that direction? Mm -hmm. What we want to do, we want to pull against our bars. Pulling on our bars is keeping our bicycle straight as we're pedaling on one side. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes yeah, sure, yeah. So put your eyes at my feet. So you're not focusing so much on balancing here. You're looking forward to where you want to go, yeah, you know? Don't think about it yeah, exactly. We're not racing to this gate. We're racing to the bottom of the starting hill. So when you hear that first beep, you're obviously pushing down on this pedal as hard as you can, mm -hmm. but don't forget to pull on these bars as well with both arms, okay? Okay. Remember those wrists. Strong wrists. There you go. Okay. All right, here we go. Right. You're catching on really good. You're perfect because you've only been doing this for so, such a <laughs> short time. Like you don't have any bad habits, yes, so you can, you can learn them. You can learn them quick. You gonna do another one for me? Sure. As you race more locals, you want to you start going out of state. And these big races, they run them quick. Usually, by the time they get halfway through the second turn, the gate starter is already hitting the button. Mm -hmm. The gate starter doesn't care about any of these eight people in the gate. They're just worried about hitting the button. Soon as that moto goes in front of you, yeah. by the time, yeah, by the time they're half like right out of the gate, go ahead and, and get here. Get ready for that gate to pull up. So, because sooner you get ready, sooner you're gonna be relaxed and ready for that gate start. Yes, sir. Riders ready, watch the gate. All right, Steven. But really pull on those bars. I wanna see that front wheel coming off the ground a little more. We got that front wheel off the ground now. Do the same thing. As you finish that first pedal, really focus on getting on that second pedal sooner. Riders ready, watch the gate. All right guys, I hope that helped. We only have just over four months for you guys to get ready for grand. So more you do these, more they're gonna turn into habits because you don't wanna get to grands and all your habits go out the window. So get the steps down. So by the time you show up in Tulsa, all of it's just muscle memory and it turns into autopilot. I wanna say thanks to Steven and one of your newest 11 girls, Martha May, out here helping me and working on her gate start. How long have you been riding? Um, three months. Three months. So you guys get out there and practice these, subscribe, hit that notification bell because soon I'm gonna be doing how to do gates like the pros or clipped in and really focus on getting those good first straightaways. The better you can do your gates and flat pedals, the faster you're gonna be when you clip in. So stay tuned, see you soon.